Hi, welcome back. In today's video, I want to talk about a really nice city in Santa Catarina. The name is Bruschi, and it's situated in the countryside, so inland away from the coast. So it's less than an hour's drive to get to some really nice beaches. It takes 45 minutes to drive to Balinario Cumbru, which has very nice beaches. You've also got the beaches of Itapema, which is an hour away. So it's still located close to some really nice beaches. And then to get to the capital of Santa Catarina, Florianopolis, it's a two hour drive. And it's a medium sized city, it's got 140,000 inhabitants, and it was started by European immigrants. Lots of German and Italian immigrants, and some other Europeans, moved to, to Bruschi in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So the city still has a strong European culture, especially the, the German side. And it's a very nice, picturesque city. So it's surrounded by mountains, lots of trees and forests on these mountains. Um, there's lots of waterfalls as well there. And also there's a river running through the city. And this is very common for cities in this region. So I did a video last week about Jaragua do Sul. And that as well is a city surrounded by mountains and rivers and waterfalls. And it's possible to go up these small mountains to some viewpoints. Uh, where you have really nice views of the city and also the surrounding area. So one place is called Morro do Rosario, and that's pretty easy to get to. It's close to the city, where you go up the mountain and you've got a nice view of the city. But my favorite is Morro de São José, which is a bit further away. Uh, you'll need to drive to it. But that is even higher, and they've got a very nice view of the whole area. And like I said, there are also some really nice waterfalls in this area as well. My favorite is Cachoeira Hicanto Feliz, which is a really nice waterfall. Um, the water is clean, and you can enter. And they've also got a restaurant close by. And then there are lots of other waterfalls in the area as well. And then the, the river that runs through the city is called Itajai Marim. And it's quite a big river and it makes the, the city really nice. But it's not a river that you would go into and start swimming in because one, the currents are pretty strong and two, it isn't the, the cleanest river, unfortunately. And then there are lots of nice parks in the city as well. So you've got Parque Zoo Botanico, which is a big zoo and park, which is very nice and it's a big attraction in the city. And also you've got a Parque de Esculturas, so it's a park with lots of different sculptures made out of rock. And also Brisky is pretty famous also for all its cathedrals and churches as well. The two main ones are Igreja Matriz de São Luís Gonzaga and Santuária Nossa Senhora de Azembuja. So lots of people come to Bruski just to see the churches and cathedral. And in general, the infrastructure is very good in Bruski. So it's got good schools, hospital. It's got a federal university as well, which is called Unifebi. And also it's very close to another bigger city called Blumenau, which is very similar to Bruski. Yeah. It's also got a very strong German culture. Um, but it's even bigger. So if you do want to go to a bigger city, Blumenau is less than an hour's drive away. Now, Bruschi is known as the Cidade dos Tecidos, a city of fabrics, and it's got a very big textile industry. So it's got lots of companies and factories producing fabrics and clothes, and then also lots of wholesalers and retailers as well selling all of this. So Bruschi is a bit different to the cities nearby where tourists go to those cities to see the tourist attractions, but in Bruschi, um, a lot of people come there because of all the stores and wholesalers selling the fabrics and the clothing. Now, two big retail outlets in Bruski. The first one is Feira da Moda, and the other one is Stop Shop. So these are big centers with loads of stores selling everything connected to fabric and clothing. So lots of people from the whole region travel to Bruski just to go to these centers. So that includes store owners that buy from the wholesalers and then just normal people as well. But it isn't just the, the textile industry, Bruski also has fairly big manufacturing and metal industry as well. So in general, the, the town is pretty prosperous. So if you look at the IBG website, it shows you the, the population of towns and also the GDP. You can see that Bruski has a GDP per capita of 62,000 hiais, which is $12,000. 
which is pretty high when you compare it to other cities. So for example, Florianopolis has a GDP per capita of 45,000. Yes. Another good thing about Brusque is it's a very safe city as well. So when I walk around Brusque, I feel very safe, even in, at night time. And usually I look at a website called Numbu, which shows crime levels. But for some reason, it doesn't have information about Brusque. But if you look at this other website here, now this just shows homicide rates. But you can see here that Brusque is the second lowest. So the lowest is Jaraguá do Sul, which is the city I did a video about last week. But Brusque is the second lowest in Santa Catarina. But I'm not just talking about homicides here, I'm just talking about general crime. It's very low in Brusque. And then Brusque also has a, a nice climate as well. It's subtropical. So in summer times, usually the temperature is between 30 and 35. Sometimes the temperature can go slightly above 35, but usually that's, that's pretty rare. And then in winter time, it usually goes down to around 10 degrees. And now and again, it has fallen down to like one or two degrees, but that's pretty rare. Now, one thing that people ask me a lot about is flooding. So like I said, Brusque has a river running through it, and kind of winter, springtime, it rains a fair bit in San Catarina, especially October, November time, which is springtime here in Brazil. And that can cause a fair bit of flooding. So I mean, Brusque has had some flooding in the past. So the big flood was in 1984. So that was a massive flood and that destroyed a lot of the city. But since then, also in 2011, there's been a flood not as big. And even last year, there were small amounts of flooding because it rained a lot last year in, in Hugo do Sul and Santa Catarina. But so what I say to people is you need to be conscious of this and don't think about buying a property close to the river because a lot of people can't kind of see a property close to the river you've got views of the river it's really nice but, but i mean my advice is don't do that um, the key thing is to buy a property away from the river and it needs to be an area which is slightly elevated as well now, i don't live in brusque but the house that i bought i made sure that the house was situated in an area which is elevated and away from any rivers. Because the, the weather events are getting a bit more extreme over the last couple of years. You never know when there's going to be a lot of rain and um, recently a lot of rivers in Brazil have flooded. So it's definitely something to, to consider. And then in terms of events and stuff that happen at Brusque, the big event is Fenareco. So this is an event in October. It's basically Brusque's Oktoberfest. So people celebrate the, the German culture of the town, people dress up, eat a lot of German food, drink a lot of beer, and it's a really nice event. So if you do ever come to Brusque, October is a great time to go, so you can enjoy this event. And other towns have similar events. So Blumenau, they have a big Oktoberfest also in October. So it's pretty common in these, these German towns. And then, okay, and another reason why I think Brusque is a great city to live in is the fact that property prices are a lot lower than some other cities. So if you compare the property prices to Florianopolis or Balinari or Kumbaru, Brusque is a lot better value for money. So, so let me show you that to you now. So a good website to go on is Viva Real. So they've got properties for rent and for sale in the whole of Brazil, basically. So if we put Brusque here, and then just do apartments, two bedroom apartments. So you can kind of get a general feel for, for the prices. So you can kind of get fairly small apartments. So for example, this one here is 65 square meters, which is 700 square feet. It's got two bedrooms and that's 300,000 TIs. So 300,000 TIs is $60,000. But there are, there are even cheaper ones. So for example, this apartment here, it's even smaller, so 44 square meters, so 470 square feet, and that is 160,000 TIs. So that's $32,000. Now you can see, obviously, it's a much simpler building. Um, it's located further away from the city center of Brusque. But just to show you that there are apartments out there for a lot less money and also if you're willing to spend more you get a bigger apartment and a nice building closer to the city center so for example this one here this is in the, the city center of Brusque it's 80 square meters so 860 square feet it's got two bedrooms and three bathrooms and two parking spaces 
and that's 800,000 TIs. It's $160,000. Yeah, you can see it's a much nicer apartment. So, so basically you can spend $30,000 to, you know, above $200,000 if you want an apartment. And in terms of houses, so you've got small, simple houses further away from the city center. So you've got this one here, for example. Um, it's two bedrooms, 65 square meters to 700 square feet. And that is 275,000 TIs. So that's $55,000. Now you can see this is kind of a terrace house. It's connected to the neighbors. It's not very big. And it's away from the city center. And here's another one very similar as well, 280,000. So you're gonna $55,000, $60,000. And obviously if you wanna live closer to the city center and the bigger house, it's gonna cost more. So you've got this house here, so it's got three bedrooms, 105 square meters, so that's 1,100 square feet, and that is 560,000 TIs, so that's 110,000 dollars. And then obviously if you've got even more money to spend, uh, the sky's the limit. So you've got this house here, so this is three bedrooms, 280 square meters, so that's 3,000 square feet, and that is 1.6 million TIs, which is $320,000. And with that, you get a big house, a nice garden with a swimming pool, and obviously located in a, a nicer area as well. And finally, obviously, you can buy land as well. So this ranges from 170,000 TIs, which is $35,000 for 500 square meters. So that's 5,300 square feet. So it's 170,000 TIs which is $35,000. And then you've got land close to the city center, nicer area, which, so you've got this one here, which is a similar size, 500 square meters, 5,000 square feet, but that's 425,000 TIs. So one above here was 170,000 TIs. So 425,000 TIs is $85,000. And then if you look further away from the towns so on the outskirts, they, so there you get more land for your money. So there's one here, for example, 800 square meters. So 9,000 square feet and, that, and that's 250,000 TIs, so $50,000. So for $50,000, you get a lot more land, but you're situated further away from the city. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. I think Bruski is a really nice city to, to live in. It's, it's pretty prosperous, it's safe, and then also it's located really well, not too far away from the coast and some other big cities. So if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe. If you've got any questions or anything, leave in the commentary below. So thanks for watching, until next time.